Rachel, thank you very much for joining us here in the um, Rio TV Pavilion studio. Um, what is the role, what are the International Committee of the Red Cross uh, doing in Rio this year at this summit? Well, uh, we are here in the conference to show about our one of our programs that is weapon contamination. And how serious is weapon contamination? Where is it a problem and who does it affect? Well, uh, many victims because people cannot um, uh, go on the, the streets, there were wars, even if the war has ended decades ago because of mines and um, also farmland, degrades the environment, it's really hard, it's, a really, it's really hard to deal with it. And what parts of the world are we talking about? We all know in it's clearly a problem in Afghanistan. It's been a problem in places like Angola with landmines. Um, maybe you look at the, um, the, the Falkland Islands. Where, where, are, where, is this, um, where is weapon contamination a problem? Can you give us an idea of the, the regions around the world where, where you are looking at? Yes, for instance, in Angola, people cannot grow anything. It's, it's impossible to farm land in there. And uh, also many countries, like many countries like Libya and uh, uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan. And last year we ran this program, and we could help 2,200 victims. Wow! And um, and what sort of weapons are we talking about? Are we talking about just landmines, or are there other problems, perhaps with radioactive waste? Unexploded, unexploded bombs, shells, these uh, clusters, and also these kind of uh, non-manufactured bombs, homemade bombs, and also uh, bomb, uh, bombs and mines that are not inappropriate. Um, they're not armazened in appropriate place. Okay, and what are the Red Cross doing then? How, how are you making a difference? Well, we give help to these people, uh, to them to, to find out where the bombs are and also the mines, giving them these, these um, rehabilitation to walk again and uh, also, oh my God, I forgot. It's, um, it's a program that helps these people to get in the society again. Sure, to, to rebuild their lives. Yes, they can learn another job. They can learn doing, doing um, an extra job that they could not do anymore. They cannot do anymore because they lost a leg or uh, an arm. And is this, is this an issue that will be discussed, do you think, at the main uh, Rio summit amongst the politicians? Is this an issue which the ICRC are keen that politicians talk about? Well, I believe so because it's in the, the DIH, International Human Rights, and uh, it's very important in this conflict to respect the human rights.